what's ahead for New Jersey's tourism industry is the topic of discussion at an annual conference underway in Atlantic City. Despite a new COVID-19 variant emerging in the U.S., one expert believes visitors will still drive to New Jersey, knowing that the tourism industry has put safeguards in place. Adam Pearl is the board president of the New Jersey Tourism Industry Association. I do believe that folks are ready, eager, and willing to travel, and we are ready and willing and eager to accept them safely and to do the things that it, visitors expect, whether that be cleaning, whether that's masking, social distancing, online ordering, you know, mobile ordering when you're at attractions, all of that. Are those are the innovations that have been implemented. Citing the latest COVID variant, President Biden is asking businesses to voluntarily move forward with COVID-19 vaccine and testing requirements, even though the administration's rules are facing a legal challenge. The administration had ordered businesses with 100 or more employees to ensure that their workers are vaccinated against COVID by January 4th or require that they submit a weekly test. But that was put on hold after lawsuits were filed. Meantime, the administration's separate vaccine mandate for healthcare workers has also been blocked due to a legal challenge. Congressional leaders reached an agreement earlier today on a new stopgap spending bill that will keep the federal government operating through mid-February. There's a midnight Friday deadline to get the bill passed. While Senate leaders are on board, some rank and file members said they are not. Toys R Us is opening a flagship store in the American Dream Mall this month. Toys R Us is trying once again to make a comeback after its bankruptcy filing a few years back. It opened two stores in the U.S. back in 2019, but closed them due to COVID. It's also now selling toys in Macy's. More big moves on Wall Street today. Here's a look at how the stock market ended up. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by Fuel Merchants Association of New Jersey and Smart Heat NJ, and by Junior Achievement of New Jersey's Business Hall of Fame, a virtual event on December 9th at 6 p.m. More information online at janj.org.